is in Germany on a three-day. Here is what's on India's agenda. The phone line from Berlin is a senior correspondent Kanchan Prasad. Kanchan, this is Prime Minister's third bilateral visit to Germany. How significant is it, especially when it comes to promoting India as a key investment destination? Moon Moon, as you know, Germany has been a key partner for India. What do you say is the most significant of them all? India is looking at two very for giving us from Berlin. Moving on to other news, Sahara Group Chief Subrata Roy and three other top executives appeared before market regulator SEBI, which had summoned them in the high-profile case involving a refund of an estimated rupees 24,000 crore to over 3 crore investors. Subrata Roy, while speaking to the media later, said that SEBI has been provided all the documents about Sahara's assets and is now wasting its time. District, a Bangalore-bound train derailed near Chetri railway station. One person was killed and about 30 others have been injured in the accident. 11 bogies of Bangalore. We'll do another break now. We'll be back in two minutes. Stay tuned. Watching News Night, Information and Broadcasting Minister Manish Tiwari today said that single window clearance will be be set up to facilitate film shooting by foreign filmmakers in India. He was addressing a program in New Delhi and he said that interministerial committee will be set up for this. Here is a quick check of what all is making news across the world. In Iran, the now Chennai Super Kings skipper MS Dhoni won the toss and opted to field against Kings XI Punjab in the 11th match of the IPL 6 at PCS State. side Juventus will come up against the newly crowned Bundesliga champions Bayern Munich in the second leg of their Champions League quarterfinal tie today. The Italian team will be without some key players but their coach Antonio Conte hopes to overturn the two goal deficit. Juventus. The ever three aside uh, national basketball championship for both men and women was held in the national capital. The two day tournament will select four players from both men and women for the upcoming Asian championships to be held in May. Known as Kashmir stag is a critically endangered species found in Jammu and Kashmir's Dashigam National Park and its adjoining areas. It is for the first time in the history of the state that this shy and elusive animal has been fitted with a GPS equipped satellite collar. This step will help scientists take effective steps for saving the hangul from becoming extinct. That's all that we have for you in Newsnight tonight. You can share your feedback on the show with us. Uh, our Twitter handle is at TD Newsnight. That's all that we have for you today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, take care. Goodbye.